Hi, so here's a practice um, conics task um, for NCA level three. Um, let me just read the task and explain what I want you to do. In a planetary system far, far away, two planets orbit a sun. The first has a major axis of 13, which basically means from here to here is 13, and a minor axis of 5, from here to here is 5. The second planet is under the influence of the same foci, these um, points here, we don't know what those are yet, and goes through the point um, route 308, which would be somewhere you know over here um, at a given time the planets align so these are the planets c and d um, the planets align with the line 2y minus x equals 2 which is this line here and they're in the first quadrant because note that you know we might get two points over here instead so they're in the first quadrant so we want the positive values at this time a laser is a laser is fired from each planet tangentially to its motion so we've got a laser that goes like this one that goes like this the lasers um, are at the most intense when they intersect who cares what are the coordinates of the intersection so what's this point here now you can give this task a go and then see um, what how your answer aligns with mine um, or you might choose to just follow what I've done and make sure you understand each part. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get the equation of the first planet. And this is the general equation of an ellipse, which is the motion of a planet. And we know that it's in this form where A is the major axis, which in our case is 13, and B is the minor axis, which in our case is 5. So that will give us the equation x squared over 13 squared, or 169, plus y squared over 5 squared, equals 1. Okay, so now we want to find the foci of that first planet because we're going to need that to find the equation of the second planet. Now, this equation here can um, be verified that the focus where it is here is equal to the major, that's from here to here, um, axes squared minus the minor axes squared square rooted. So in our case that's going to be 13 squared minus 5 squared square rooted which can give us a focus of 12. But remember we've got two of them where this is the origin so they're going to have the coordinates um, 12 0 and minus 12 0. Okay, this is the more difficult of the things we've got to work out. Now, um, we're going to calculate the major length or the, you know, the length of the major um, axes. Now, what we're going to do is we know that the length from here to here to here is the same. But we also know, if we get, think back to our previous slide, that that's going to be twice the major axes. So we end up with this, that twice the major axes, because that's what this length is, is the length from here to here. So just using coordinate geometry, we know um, that the distance from here to here is going to be 12 plus root 300, and the distance from here to here is 8. So we've got, um, using Pythag, um, coordinate geometry that that distance plus that distance squared equals that and here it's just a subtraction so we get the same thing and then if we expand and simplify these we get this nice interesting thing here where each one has got 508 and 24 root 300 but one's positive and one's negative so we're now going to square both sides and we're going to get obviously um, for m squared we're going to get this disappearing this disappearing and we'll have a positive root 300 and a negative root 300 so we just end up with two of these however we're also going to get twice this square root multiplied by this square root which is actually just a difference of two squares expanded so we get this we can then just type this in our calculators and we get m squared is and 4m squared is 1600 so m squared is 400 so m is 20 so the major axis is 20 so now what we want to do is find the minor axes and going back to what we've done before but this time it's using the equation of the round if you think that equation we had that length there is going to be um, 
20 and we know the length along the bottom here is 12 and we're finding the vertical so just using um, Pythag again we get um, m is 16 so now or minor is 16 so now we've got our a and b and we've got our 16 and 20 we're going to get the equation of the um, of the outer planet to be x squared over 400 plus y squared over 256 equals 1 Okay, so let's find um, where these the, the aligned planets are, the coordinates of them, when the laser um, is going along um, hitting them both. So we've got this, um, the inner planet here and the outer planet here, and we've got the equation of the line that they lie along. So because it's in the form x equals like this, we can just substitute this into there and this into there, one for the inner, one for the outer. And then I, I don't, I'm not actually going to do the maths here, but we can simply multiply um, top and bottom of this one by 13 squared, 5 squared, top and bottom of this one by 20 squared, 16 squared. Rearrange to make it into a quadratic equal to zero, and uh, probably just either use a quadratic formula or just use a graphical calculator to get the values of y. And remember, we want the positive values because it's in the first quadrant, and we end up with these um, two coordinates here and you can verify that for yourselves okay so let's find the equations of the tangents and where those tangents intersect to um, finish off our task so we need to differentiate because we want the gradients and we want to do that implicitly we're now going to divide by 2 and rearrange to get dy by dx equals minus 25x over 169y um, fortunately from the last um, slide we've worked out the values of x and y at that point and we can substitute those in to get that the gradient is approximately minus 0 0.227 and then using y minus y1 equals m minus x1 we can get the equation of the line of that tangent We've now got the other equation um, over here, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to differentiate implicitly. We're going to divide by 2, then rearrange and simplify to get dy by dx equals minus 16x over 25y. We're then going to use the point that we had before to get the gradient to be approximately minus 1.141. Now, with those two values, um, or with the other one, we can get the equation of the line using y minus y1 equals m minus x1. And we've got equations of two lines, and all we've got to do is find out where they um, intersect with each other. Um, I'm not going to go through that now, but I'm going to give you the answer is 24.1 and 0 0.3 approximately and obviously if you're um, rounding it is a little bit on the slack side you might be out by a little bit um, there now this is just an example task um, hopefully if you have a real task the numbers will work out a little bit better than that but if you can um, follow um, all of that work um, really well you're going to be in a, a good place for a question that um, is predominantly to do with um, ellipses and tangents to ellipses um, and straight lines intersecting.